Hi guys, welcome back to another video. You know it's a girl Chanel. Okay, so today's video is about you guys. I will be expressing my gratification to you guys. And I'm going to show you guys the journey where I have been last year to this year. So keep keep in tune. So guys, um I have a few things I want to speak about in this video. Yes. So keep on watching. So first, I want to say the donation and the marathon was a huge success, a huge success. So the total sum is um, 1.9, over 1.9 million is in the school account for me for next year. So thanks be to God. God alone didn't beat something, right? God has come true for me on every level, every dimension every crisis and corner god has been there for me and he does keep on exalting me and coming through for me so i want to say a huge thank you guys so 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 much for believing in me and investing your money in me look here thank you guys so much it doesn't matter if you give a ten dollar or a hundred dollar or two hundred dollars every nickel and every cent mean a lot to me okay so thank you, thank you guys so, 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 so much. Big up on yourself. Big up Auntie Observe you for this initiative. Auntie Donna, Dr. Donna Go for initiating this too and supporting me right through. I want to say thank you to Auntie Charmian. Thank you to Auntie Naculet. Thank you to Auntie Nicole. You know yourself, Auntie Nicole. So big up yourself. Everybody, Auntie Debbie that collect the money. Auntie Cara that collect the money and send it and everything. I am really appreciative for everybody in this process. You guys have made my dream come true day by day. Every day you guys are making my dream come true. And guys, I want to make an apology to you guys. The reason why I haven't been posting so much on my page because I am preparing for exams. I have exams this week and next week so i am preparing for exams and it takes a lot of preparation and it takes a lot of time so i have to be doing work and putting in the work right because you know can't afford to feel anything right and um, we can't afford to do that so i have to be putting in the work hence why i haven't been posting a lot i haven't been communicating with you a lot but i am safe i am okay just exam time and when exam time comes it's a lot of stress and a lot of rushes a lot of anxiety and i mean it is just the preparation like the seasons of preparation for exam that's why i haven't been posting so much i haven't been interacting with you guys but that is what is going on and my whole family is so 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 appreciative of you guys support and me my mother she I think she's happy. She's happy than even me, you know. So I am really grateful, you know. Because she's so happy, 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 happy. I have this chance to excel and to show who Shani is. So my mother is always proud of me. So I want to say a big thank you to my mommy. A big thank you to you guys. My brother is also very appreciative of you guys because he knows the struggle. He knows where I'm coming from. So. You know, he's really supportive. He, even though circumstances, he cannot really understand it fully, but he knows what's happening, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So he understands what's going on, but at the same time, he's not in tune with his feelings and emotions. So he doesn't know to express it properly. But I mean, he did a good job expressing his gratification in the last video. So you, you guys, we all appreciate it. And I'm sure that when my son comes to recollection and he comes to the age of understanding, he will be so appreciative of you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much. Yes, guys, so that's what has been going on with me. I have school exams, you know. I'm a mom, so I have that dealing with at the same time. You know, um, you know, like regular house stress, whatever, whatever. So that's what has been going on with me. I am just focusing now. I have to focus right now, guys, because 
uh, afford to fear anything and I can't afford to get a bad grade on anything because you know the people that are going to come for me <laughs> you know they're going to talk a lot of things so I have to make sure that my grades are up to par because a lot of persons have been investing in me right so they want to where their investment has been going so I have to be showing where their investment is going that's hence why I'm not really online as much I'm not doing lives I'm not doing enough videos and I do apologize for that but please bear with me for these two weeks two to three weeks where I will be doing my exams guys I can't be on the phone a lot of times because I have to be reading I have to be doing something educational wise so that's why I'm not on my platform as much but i do apologize and i hope you guys understand i'm going to, so i want to say a big thank you to you guys again because you guys do this again all right so i'm going to go to big fire in this summer big fire <laughs> okay so i'm going to be traveling on the work and travel program and i'm going to be in the um, in the state of new york right so that is very exciting it's really coming up soon summer is really coming up soon for me and i'm really appreciative of that guys i've never seen nothing like close up in my life so i'm really really excited for that um so this is going to be like a really really big step for me like as in growth wise um Yes, the aim is to make money, but the aim is actually, yes, one of the biggest aim is to make money, but one of the aims that I want to take from this experience is knowledge, right? I want to expand my vocabulary. I want to expand my knowledge on culture, different cultures. I want to just learn a lot of things, you know, learn about different places, learn about different things, taste different foods, you know, just everything is going to be new and probably it will be a culture shock for me but at the same time i just i'm having an open mind and i'm just willing to enjoy myself and to make the best of this opportunity because you know the saying that opportunity only comes to once in a lifetime so i'm going to be making the best 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 this of this opportunity and i just want to thank you guys like this journey has been ups and downs and rookies and mountains and the valley we have climbed over but at the end of the day there's light at the end of the tunnel right so we are looking forward to the for that light me and you guys are looking forward for that light at the end of the day and i just want to say a big thank you to father god so I want to say a big thank you to Father God because without God, we I couldn't be anything. We really couldn't be anything right now. And He has placed me in a position where I didn't dream I could be like, you know, I, I didn't know this was even possible. And God has been making the way for me. And a lot of persons, they have the question, um, why is she not me whatever but at the end of the day a lot of people see the glory but they don't know the story behind the glory you know you don't so a lot of people they don't see the sleepless nights they don't see you working from primary school up you know and i was having this conversation with somebody that a lot of people would be really appreciative of this opportunity that i got so i'm really grateful for that and at the end of the day a lot of people they see the glory but they don't know the story so you will see me come on here and you see me interact with my videos but you don't know who is shani right i have been working from as long as i know myself from as long as i had sense enough to know myself working 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 and i was working right studying i was getting in the top three of my class i was doing well exceptionally well and i was always working because i had a goal in mind and that was to become an attorney at law and a lot of people they're like girl you're too extra why are you doing that why you're such a show off you know when you answer questions in class i'm like why are you such a show off you're gonna like you know it's all stuff like that but at the end of the day i had a goal in mind and i knew that from i was younger but i wasn't really fortunate like a lot of persons right 
um, in my immediate surrounding at school and I knew that I had to work for whatever I want. I didn't know how I was going to reach it but I know with hard work and dedication it will come to pass. So the Lord has gave me the desire of my heart. He has been preparing me for this moment, right? Not saying that I deserve it more than anybody else. No, I'm not saying that. But at the end of the day, this was my desire of my heart. I've been praying for this. I've been wanting this. I've been sleeping. I've been eating. I've been walking and talking for this. You know, so I'm really grateful that God answered my prayer. And... I'm a living testimony. I'm just a big motivation to persons, right? To say that if I can do it, you can do it. Because at the end of the day, I'm not special or anything more than you. We are all on the same level. And I mean that God has carried me thus far. I'm not perfect. I'm not coming on here to act like I'm perfect and I'm Miss Goody Two Shoes. No, I'm not perfect. At the end of the day, we all make mistakes and we all fall short of the glory of God. But at the end of the day, is what you do after you fall short of the glory of God. Do you give up or do you repent and ask Him for forgiveness? So, I am not saying that I'm perfect and I'm not saying that I live a, a holy and sanctified life, right? But at the end of the day, I try my best to do what God wants me to do. And just ask Him asking and let him direct your path don't be envious of somebody else's journey because that person's journey is not your journey your journey is different from somebody's ex journey probably your sister or your twin sister you you are your twin brother your journey is different from their journey so at the end of the day you focus on you building yourself see what you can do to improve yourself not what you can do to try to impress somebody or to try to be like somebody or be better than somebody you have to build yourself right and you have to start with for me personally i started building my spiritual strength so during this journey i started going back to my first love which was the church and which was christ so that's where i started finding my strength and remember he said in his word that we can do all things through christ right so i started believing in that and i started moving in that and working in that because faith without work is dead right so you have to have faith in the living and true christ and you have to put in the work because at the end of the day it doesn't make sense to pray for something and you're not working towards it you're going in a, in a the opposite direction that doesn't make sense so you have to know who you are and work for what you want so my advice to anybody sitting out there and you are in a situation similar to me or close to my situation believe in god and trust in him and put him before everything any little thing you're going to do in your life any decision you're going to make put him before everything all right that's my two cents and I hope you guys enjoy this video because I really and truly enjoy talking to you guys, interacting with you guys, because you are the persons that build me to be who I am today. And you guys are the person who believe in me from the get go. So I'm really appreciative that. I remember last year around this time, I was. I was seeking for donation around this same time. I was seeking to donations and you know emails, applying for a lot of scholarships, everything. I did all the work and God knew his plan. He knew that every disappointment comes with an appointment. So um yeah, this is the history of Shane. I've been praying and waiting for this. So this didn't happen overnight. You know, it was it, by it's by the grace of God. It wasn't just I get up one day and then I decided to do this and I decided I've been working for this all my life. So you can work for it too and you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. So stay blessed, stay courage and be up all right? I'm really appreciative for that, right? Because without you guys nobody would have known shiny and you guys have been my strength and my rock so thank you thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and do have a lovely week and a lovely life god bless you keep me safe